Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I'm going to answer a question that somebody was putting to me about their career, building their career. So here's a dude who I checked out his site and I want to show you it because I want to maintain his privacy. And uh, it looks pretty good, but it's kind of basic. He's got a decent set of skills like um, uh, MongoDB, MongoDB, JavaScript, uh, GitHub, uh, uh, Linux, NPM, Bash, AWS Cloud, Visual Code, Visual Studio Code, uh, yeah, MySQL, ACML5, CSS3. So he's having difficulty finding a job. So the first thing I noticed that uh, in his writing to me, he is uh, he's pretty good at writing. So that's a good thing. Communication's a huge thing when getting a job. But let's just read some of this. Uh, and I'll answer the, I'll answer his questions, and I'll give a give you guys some in, insights into into how to land your job. He says, uh, "Notice that my projects are weak." He's referring to his website. Yeah, they're kind of thin, but they look good. You know, so that's a good impression. Uh, I've been trying to get a job since February, so several months, but you know. When you're beginning, that's not unusual. This is because I am lacking quality skills that allow me to stand out as a developer. I could be that, or it could be that your skill sets do not align with the local market. So first thing I tell people, this is a strategy, the Steph strategy of becoming a uh, money-making developer or coder. Number one, you learn your fundamentals. Number two, you reach out to local businesses and you do one or two, maybe three small free projects. You put up a portfolio site that looks really good. You have to have your own website. It's kind of like your calling card so that people can judge you. That's how they're going to judge you initially, by that and how, they, how you interact with them and so forth. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be uh, looking at the local job market or the job market you want to hit and look at the demand. What, what are they looking for? What skill sets? You may think that um, Python is fantastic, but there may not be Python jobs in your area. It's hard to say. Uh, so do that. Like I said, I have many, and I stress many tutorials to finish in addition to a full-time web dev college student, in, in addition to being a full-time web dev college student. Uh, so he's mentioned a bunch of courses he's doing. Yeah, he's getting a little bit into perhaps the t tutorial-itis. Again, there's this misconception out there in the nerd world that uh, to get out there and be a pro developer, you have to learn all these different things, as much uh, stuff as possible. It doesn't actually work that way. As a developer, you have to learn your fundamentals, and then you have to... Uh, Develop skills that a particular employer, if you're looking to get a job, is looking for, right? Now, you know, if they're looking for, uh, I don't know, C-sharp and .NET, and you learn all kinds of other tech, that won't impress them. Why? Because they need C-sharp and .NET. So that's what you have to do. You also have to start reaching out to people, making connections and contacts, uh, start developing reputation. You have to hustle a little bit in terms of uh, selling yourself. So good communication skills, good understanding the fundamentals, having a nice looking website, having a couple of free uh, projects or paid if you can, but pro you know, freelance projects under uh, your belt, if you will, is very important. That's why I always talk to people that's why I always tell people to do some freelancing because uh, learning freelancing will, will, give, will give you that critical uh, experience that people always look for, will teach you how to run a project, and it will um, show you, it will, it, you have a portfolio, you have a track record. What employers value more than anything else is somebody who has a track record doing real projects because in development, you never go into there. You will never go into any development project knowing everything. It part of being a developer is uh, figuring out solutions to a problem. That's well. That's the whole pro That's the whole point of being a developer, actually. But a part of it, rather, is to is to learn new things as you go. You're going to need need to learn new things. Uh, yeah, there are times when you go in there and you know everything. But like even my current 
lead developer who's highly experienced, when he came to work for me, um, he had to learn a new framework. He had to learn a new ORM. He had to learn a new front end. He had to new, you know, he still had to learn a bunch of new things, even though he's highly experienced, highly educated. That's just the way it is. Developers, uh, I could argue, the top skill of a developer is the ability to learn new things quickly. So to summarize, if you got your foundations, you're comfortable writing code, you, you can build, let's say you're doing web app. You can actually put together a simple web app. It's time to get out there in the real world, you know? People, I, I make this analogy when it comes to boxing. I've been to uh, certain gyms. They got part of the gym where you got pro fighters and amateur fighters, and the other part of the gym, you got people who are there just to exercise. And then you got this group of people who, uh, they're continuously doing drills and pad work and hitting heavy bags in preparation to get in the ring. But the fact of the matter is they, they spend way too much time hitting pads. I call them pad hitters. And enough, not enough time in the ring. You, my, my principle of uh, how to get a job quickly is based, A, on my experience, you know, going back to the 90s as a developer, also, but also based on my experience in martial arts and boxing. Once you get your foundations, you got to get in the ring, buddy. So there you go. I hope that helps. Yes, he also mentioned that he's, uh, he's 40. So yeah, if you're 40, you're not, you're not somebody uh, who's going to be you're going to be, people are going to be reluctant to hire you, especially in younger companies, startups and stuff. Uh, 40, uh, you're going to have to go work probably for smaller companies. But again, it's all about experience. Like I was talking to a friend of mine who has a pretty big company, you know, and he's got tons and tons of uh, developers working for him. And he, he makes the decisions in terms of hiring a lot of the times. And he said, he, he told me, you would never hire a 50-year-old noob developer. He, you know, he, at that point, he wouldn't do it. Uh, but he would hire a 50-year-old developer who has experience. So the quickest way to get experience is to start freelancing. And that's why I got a freelance course. Links below. Shameless plug. I know. But anyway, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.